Fellas, Ultra Kill is not a finished video game as of recording of this video. Many sun cycles ago, I made a video where I bullshit about what Isaac Rebirth is gonna have. All of it was wrong, but now I'm going to do the same thing except it's with Ultra Kill and hope the result is the same. Of course, if you're not a fan of this game and still wish to watch this video, I... Uh, you know, good luck. So, red shotgun, huh? For a while, I thought red variants could all be related to explosions in some way, like the knuckle blaster and malicious rail cannon. Now, the red revolver does still explode enemy bullets, but that's not its main draw, so that sends that theory to bed early. So, the alt fire of all the revolver variants have to break glass due to level design. Likewise, all shotgun variants alt fire has to in some way cause an explosion in order to, you know, get rid of this barrier here. I can't argue with consistency. Every time I try, I lose. Now, the sharpshooter used to be a scrapped variant until it was brought back just recently. So maybe for the shotgun, they'll bring back this black hole projectile? I can't imagine this has much combo potential. I don't know, black holes are Minos' thing. It's the only thing he has left at this point. Leave him alone. I'm hoping the red nail gun uses silver nails, just as like a side note. Ah, uh, you know, the game's got the slab revolver, and then it has the saw launcher. So Act 3 has got to have another alt variant, right? That's how patterns work last time I checked at the local library. All right, well, I'm just assuming it's going to be the shotgun. It'd be kind of weird if it was an alt variant of, like, the rocket launcher or, like, It'd be even weirder for the rail cannon, so I just say it's the shotgun because there's a gap between the revolver and nail cannon. Now, if the hours I put into this other shoot game means anything, it's that I have nuclear thrown brain rot. So from there, I came to the logical conclusion that the off shotgun could be a slugger. Again, I went to the library. Why fire a bunch of heat bullets when you can shoot one big fireball? All the damage from a shotgun blast crumped into one large short range bullet. And when you punch it, it causes a red explosion. I admit this might trivialize soldiers and I don't like that to be honest. The downside? It has the slab revolver reload thing going on. So you can punch one strong as fuck bullet but you won't be shotgun swapping anymore. Really this is not terrifically balanced for people who didn't learn how to shotgun swap. Kind of a straight upgrade for them. Oh, and the overpump. That's another issue. That would just make the slug deal more damage the more you pump it. Yeah, fucking all the bosses in this game can kiss their ass goodbye. This is a personal entry. This is just a little treat just for me. You know that section in A Shot in the Dark where you can light one torch at a time to spawn a specific enemy wave for that room? And you can just choose how much of a waves you want to spawn at once, including all four at the same time? This mechanic is kind of genius to me, if I'm honest. Nobody really talks about it, and it's a really good idea. I'm just hoping Act 3 has at least two more instances of something like this. Maybe even a whole ass level full of torches you gotta light before the exit door opens. Bonus points if the exit door is just right in front of the entrance, just taunting you from the start. I'd love that. I think we should torment the player some more. Now every act seems to have a secret boss. Act 1 had the damn rat from Civi. Act 2 had uh, Mandelbrot Gaming. So what YouTuber is gonna be the Act 3 boss? Trick question. Have you already forgotten? This is a new blood game. They still haven't used Big John yet. I Big think John. I'd actually be angry <laughs> if they didn't have Big John. How can you not love Big Do John? I mean, they, it, I'd put Big John in my game, yeah, come on. Okay, every Ultra Kill fan is waiting for me to talk about the gold fist. Uh, uh... Fucking uh, pizza slicer hand that uh, lets you drive up walls there. For on number eight, we have the eighth layer of this game, which is fraud. And I have no idea what they could possibly do with this, even though I'm the most interested in that one. I had no idea what they were gonna do for places like limbo and violence, and those turned out great. The only thing I could think of for fraud is like office cubicles? Oh man, oh bro, oh brother, you gotta play ultra kill, the, 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 fraud, the fraud layer is the best one in the game, and it's a fucking screenshot of Wolfenstein 3D. And finally, the third and last thing this game has left to do, the ending. Knowing how much of a fan Akira is of DMC3, I can imagine that for the final boss, Gabriel fights a big stupid fucking blob thing with you for some reason, and then after that, the two of you duke it out properly, and then you win, and Gabriel dies. Okay, let me lay it down hypothetical style. When you kill Gabriel, there's no more hell to go through, and that means no more fresh blood. I think it'd be really indie games if the game literally just softlocks you while a special track plays, maybe eventually run out of fuel and shut down. Maybe the game also starts laughing at you until you close the game. Maybe the game just closes for you and that's it, you move on with your life. Not really satisfying at all, which would be a huge problem, but the chances of a game's ending being a joke on the player is never zero. Man, I have a weird perception of indie games. I blame Newgrounds. 
and by extension Edmund McMillan. Well everybody, the video has ended. Thank you for watching my Ultra Kill video. I hope it was epic when... Why did I write that? Next video, never.